Approximately 10% of ALS cases are considered familial ALS because they are known to be caused by an inherited gene mutation. That is, they run in families. About one in five of these inherited cases of ALS is due to a damaging mutation in a gene called SOD1, which provides the instructions for the body to make a protein known as superoxide dismutase. Superoxide dismutase is normally a useful protein working to rid the body of toxic free radicals. But the genetic alterations leading to ALS actually change the superoxide dismutase from a useful protein to a toxic one. Scientists are still investigating just how and why mutant SOD1 causes ALS. But they have strong evidence that lowering the amount of this toxic protein in the body may reduce the debilitating effects of ALS. How can we eliminate or reduce SOD1 from the body? One way could be to intercept and destroy the genetic instructions that the body uses to make that protein. These instructions, called messenger RNA or mRNA, are copied directly from the DNA found in every cell. DNA is that familiar double helix, shaped like a twisted ladder. The rungs of the ladder are made of four different types of chemical letters, which make up the code of life. The order of the chemicals in the SOD1 gene dictates the unique instructions the body uses to make the SOD1 protein. mRNA is like a photocopy of a segment of DNA containing the same chemical information found in the DNA. Instead of a twisted ladder, mRNA looks like half of the ladder, which has been split right down the middle of each rung. Its single chain of chemical rungs matches one half of an unwound DNA helix. Once copied from the DNA, the messenger RNA molecule gets translated into protein. Scientists led by MDA grantee Dr. Timothy Miller have devised a way to seek out and destroy SOD1 mRNA so that it can no longer provide the instructions for making the toxic SOD1 protein leading to ALS. Miller and his research team at Washington University in St. Louis have designed and manufactured tiny synthetic snippets of RNA molecules called antisense oligonucleotides, or antisense oligos for short. These oligos consist of chains of just 20 different chemical units, arranged so that they will specifically match up with the unique chemical code contained in SOD1 messenger RNA. Through years of preclinical investigation, Miller's team has shown that these antisense oligos can enter the cells of the nervous system and seek out SOD1 mRNA to cause its destruction so that it can no longer be translated into the toxic SOD1 protein. Now, through the substantial funding of a $1 million MDA translational research grant, Miller is leading a multi-center phase one clinical trial to test the safety and determine appropriate dosage of this high-tech drug on human patients. MDA's highest hope is that Dr. Miller's team can show that their tiny antisense oligos will prove to be a safe and ultimately effective therapy for familial ALS caused by SOD1 mutations.